Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm really excited. It is June, which means it is officially LGBTQ plus Pride Month, which means that all over the world, people are gonna be celebrating a very marginalized community that I am very happy to be a part of. So I wanted to create a very rainbow, very over the top and very glam look for pride. Now this is something that you can wear. It will last all day long. I didn't do the skin. This is really just the eyes and lip and glow, but I will link down below a video of all of the, basically everything else you would need to create this. So if that's something you're into, make sure to keep on watching and please don't forget to subscribe because I do upload twice a week and that is the best way to stay up to date on all the fun stuff I'm posting. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So for today's video, I'm going to be using a lot of color, obviously. So I'm going to be using the Masquerade, the Magic, the Deuce, and the Zulu palette from Juvia's Place. No, you don't need all four of these palettes, but I'm trying to use like the perfect of every color because this is a rainbow look. And you can use, like I have the Sephora Pro palette, you can use the NYX palette, but for today, I really wanted to dip into some of my Juvia's shadows. So it'll be like the red from one, the orange from the other. I'll leave down below which palettes each of the shades came from, but yeah, that's that. So the eyes are already primed and I did throw on a quick like face. This is just a normal base. I've done it a million times. I'll link down below a video on how I achieve this. I'm going to start by taking a fairly light shade, just any transition shade, and just setting down all of the shadow primer with that shade. Next, I'm going to start by packing some yellow on the inner corner of my right eye. And now with these shades, they are very vibrant, but you don't want to blend them away because they will. So you want to kind of pack them on and you don't want to go overboard blending them until after. So I'm going to start just by packing this yellow. And in between, I will be using my color swatch from Vera Mona just to pull off any pigment. Next, I'm going into an orange shade and I'm going to take that just in between and you can get it on the lid because we are gonna cut the lid later. So if you do get a little bit on the lid, that's okay. Then going back into the yellow, I'm just going to re-intensify where those shades meet. Then instead of using a true red, I'm gonna be dipping into a more pinky red because this is gonna be a little bit more of like that sunset vibe. So it is red, but it's got a little bit of tangerine in it because when you go for rainbow, you can either do true, like red, orange, yellow, green, or you can kind of play with those. I don't want this to be a really vibrant red. I do want this to be a little bit more like sorbet. So I am gonna kind of just take that, and this I am gonna buff into the crease because this is gonna be that definition on the outer portion of the eye. Then packing a little bit more yellow, I'm just going to intensify the yellow into the orange. And then going into a slightly brown brick red, I'm just going to further define that outer portion of the eye. Then on a clean brush, I'm just going to blend some of those edges, starting with the light shade. And once you get to the orange, don't go back to the yellow. Cause like if you go back and forth, it'll get muddy. You wanna kind of blend in one direction only. Now the eyes are gonna be mirrored, so we're going yellow, or like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. This eye is gonna be basically the opposite and we're gonna start with the green here. Now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna be using shimmers because I do want this to be a little more intense. So the green, blue, and purple down here will be shimmers. And then this eye, since it is gonna be the opposite, I'm gonna have a matte green, blue, purple, and the red, orange, yellow down here will be shimmery. So I'm gonna start with a shimmery green right here, and I'm gonna take that on the inner portion of the lower lash line. Then dipping into a shimmery blue, I'm gonna place that in the middle. And now down here, because purple is a little more intense, I'm gonna go into a deeper blue first and blend that towards the lighter blue and you'll see how that'll add a little bit more of that defined gradient before finally connecting the purple to the red. And because we already laid down that brick shade, that red is going to really well blend into that purple and just give you that full dynamic 
color wheel around the entire eye. At this point, the one thing I will say is that so far, the red is getting a little bit lost. So I am gonna dip into a little bit more red and just intensify that red into purple blend. Then cleaning off the brush, I'm gonna take a little bit more of the orange shade and really just define where those shades meet. And again, clean off the brush and do that again with just the yellow. Now I'm basically gonna repeat this exact same thing on the other eye, but instead I'm gonna flip flop it and I'm gonna have the matte on top again. So I'm not gonna use this green up here, I'm gonna use a matte green. So I'm gonna do that and that'll just be really quickly silently just so that I don't make this video a million years long. Okay, so now that the base colors are on, I'm just going to once again, kind of diffuse all of those edges and throw a little bit more of that matte light shade just kind of over the brow bone and where all those colors meet just so that it's a little bit more precise. Then with a little bit of the P. Louise base, I'm going to cut the lid a little bit and I'm only going to cut like probably half of the lid for like a half cut crease. And I'm gonna set that down with that same bright off white shade. Now going in with a very pointy shadow brush, I'm just going to re-intensify some of those colors around the blended area. Going back into that flat brush, I'm gonna take a little bit more of the colors on the outer portion of the eye and just blend that around where that concealer ends. For the lid, I'm gonna go into the iridescent white pink shade from the Deuce palette, and I'm gonna take that on a flat brush and I am going to wet it to intensify the color. Now I'm just going to throw a little setting spray on the eye. Now normally I don't set my eyes down like this, but because I went in with such pigment and I pressed it on, I kind of want to add that liquid just to set everything down and keep it from moving. Next I'm going to take the Liquid Crystal Body Liner from NYX. This is in the shade Crystal Hip. It is a reflective iridescent glitter. I am just going to trace out the crease. So now I'm just gonna throw on a very thin layer of liner and some lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, lashes and mascara are on. Sorry, <laughs> lashes and mascara are on. I am gonna amp up the highlight a little bit. I did use the Fenty Beauty New Kilowatt Foil. This is the Sandcastle Mint Mojito Duo. But honestly, I kinda wanna amp it up a little bit. I did go in with both. I'm gonna take a little bit more of Mint Mojito and I'm just gonna build it up with that one. And I did forget to say, these are New Bound Some, it's not on there, there it is, Bellas, which are the most dramatic lash I have. I was originally gonna be like, I spent so much time on the eyes, let's do something a little more natural, but honestly, it's for Pride Week. Like, why not go really, really drag? So I went for the biggest lashes I own. Normally with an eye this dramatic, I would pair it with a nude lip, but because it is pride and intense and drag, I'm gonna be going in with the NYX Slide On Glide On Liner in Brick House, and I'm gonna be doing a deep glossy red. 
Then going over that with my favorite red of all time, this is the Unicorn Blood from Jeffree Star. Next, Kopari actually, which is a lip gloss I love, just came out with a trio of tinted lip glosses. So I'm gonna take a little bit of Mai Tai, which is a very glossy, like red orange, and I'm gonna take a little bit of that and use it to brighten up and gloss the lip. And the last thing I like to do, and I do this whenever I do any red lip, is I will take a little bit of foundation on a flat eye brush, and I will just clean up the lip line a little bit. And to finish this whole thing off, taking a little Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray, I'm gonna hit up the sides of the face, I try not to get it too much in the center because I do get very oily and pride is outdoors. So I want to get really like glossy and glittery everywhere, but I kind of try to keep my T-zone as dry as possible. That way when I'm outside, it doesn't get anywhere overpowering. And that is the finished look. So this is my very drag inspired, very over the top and very glam rainbow pride look. So again, if you look at the lower lash line, you will go red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. You could do the same thing if you go along the top. I wanted it to be a rainbow on each eye and a rainbow no matter which way you look at it. So I really had a lot of fun creating this. If I go to any Pride events this month of June, this is what I'll be wearing and I can't wait. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.